Hello everyone, the prestige mode of Leviathan has launched, and it has some changes to every single encounter, so let's go over what they are and how to handle them. This guide assumes you know already how the normal mode of the raid works. First of all, this is a 300 level activity, so everything is a bit beefier and will hit harder. Things that were not normally a threat are now definitely a threat. Those things include everything, basically everything. Things are a bit harder to kill, not too much, but it will take a few extra shots to kill things, one extra hand cannon shot, etc, etc, so be aware of that. Stuff like grenades from the most basic of enemies now hurt really badly. Another major change is how revive tokens work. They now work like how they do in Trials of the Nine. If you use your token, you lose your token, but if you die with a token, you lose it as well. Next up, there is not a power level increase with the prestige mode. It is purely cosmetic in nature. The model of the armor you get isn't any different from the normal mode, but it now has a purple glow to it, and it has a different color scheme applied as well at the base level. Also, you do not get normal mode drops as well as prestige drops if you do the prestige mode first. Tokens also do not give prestige loot, which, I mean, that makes sense, but the prestige tokens are the same as normal tokens. They both stack together. There's no difference between them. Prestige Raid does not lock your loadout either. It also appears that Prestige Mode removes some of the tags in the underbelly, telling you which way you're going. The door opening sequence appeared to be the exact same, except things are just harder to kill. A new shader does drop from Prestige Mode, Callus's Treasured, where the white of the normal mode shader, Callus's Selected, is now purple. We'll start with the baths and its changes. Essentially, everything is much more lethal. Things will hit harder and don't die as easily. The bathers that spawn are now oiled, and what that actually means, besides just being gross to think about, is that when you kill the bathers, they will leave a small pool on the ground, and if you stand in it, it'll start to rip off stacks of your psionic protection buff, so just avoid it. You're still going to need to hit them hard because of how much health they have, and if you don't have a super, or a bunch of power ammo on hand, you're going to have a very difficult time killing them by yourself. The middle section functions the same way as normal mode, but it felt like bathers spawned much faster, so rotating supers is more important. If you don't one cycle this section, you'll need to kill your scions as normal, but the game will now randomly assign people to specific plates in order to continue, and if you don't step on those plates, you will wipe. In the middle of the arena, where you all gather for the purple jar things, four people will have a symbol in the middle floating in the air and will need to go to that corresponding plate. So one person's gonna have beast, another person's gonna have axe, etc, etc. Two people will have nothing. The beast is in the bottom left, the axe is in the top left, the chalice is in the top right, and what we're calling dudes, the two cabal standing next to each other, is in the bottom right. So, once that debuff hits you, you look at the middle, you find your symbol, you go to that plate, and you reorient the teams so that everyone has a proper roll again. Once you're all good, and step on the plate and grab your psionic buff, you're good to go, and you can just continue as normal. Here's the sequence in action. Put it. I put it. Put another one, just in case. Yeah. Double right, wall. Right, right canisters? I will use next super, next right super. Right I will, I will. Is yeah. Last set. Back, back, another back, bather, back. another bather coming in. I gotta get off. Okay, I too need to get off. I'm off, I'm off, I'm off. Axes, axes, what's that? Top right, I'm, I'm, I'm cup, I'm cup. I'm, I'm, I'm online, do you want me to get on immediately? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get bottom on. one. Alright, I'm ready. Here we go. I'm, I'm on. And uh, jump I'm on. I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. No, never mind, never mind. My biggest piece of advice here is to make sure you have power ammo at all times. Three merciless shots and a pulse grenade, or five merciless shots with no grenade at all will kill a bather. But if you burn all of your power ammo in the middle, you're not going to have any for the bathers. So make sure you scoop heavy ammo before leaving, just don't die to the pools in the process. Moving to the beast gardens, the major change here is the addition of two more beasts for a grand total of eight. 
That means all previous routes that were developed for normal mode really don't work too well here because of the increased patrol. Otherwise, the fight stays the same. For my team, we still assigned the six normal mode beasts as we usually do, but now, once your beast is dead, you go to the new beast that spawns and just start killing it. So the three people on the right side will go to cave or rocks or whatever you call it after they kill their beast at R1, R2, and R3 or whatever you call those, and the left side will collapse to mid left or L2 beast. Handlers do take a couple of extra ticks to kill them, but it's not really a big deal. It is still totally possible to treat this like a normal mode encounter, but you just need to do a little more damage because you're probably not going to have as many stacks. Next up is the Gauntlet. As a whole, the Gauntlet experience remains intact with a couple of minor changes. Again, everything is much more deadly and people who are alone in their section will probably need help. For running the Gauntlet, one large change is the spawning of a psionic projection along with the shielded scion. You don't need to do anything different though, you just need to kill it, and it'll spawn in a few different spots potentially. If you do a strategy where everyone has their own plate, you can obviously just kill it and keep going, but if you use rotating teams with pairs of people, we had the person on the plate killing the projection. You can either kill it, then move to the next plate, or you can move to the next plate and then kill it, doesn't really matter too much. The second option sort of requires a long distance weapon and you may have line of sight issues when trying to kill the projection. Next up, everyone has to be a runner this time because those who run will get the proven worthy debuff and that means you cannot run it again. You need to rotate runners. Finally, in the final gauntlet run with everyone, there are only three orbs instead of four, so assign people to skip the first, third, and finish line orbs, and the other three people to skip the second and the fourth. Not too bad of a change. Finally, Callus doesn't receive any changes except for one big thing. Whenever you melee a Scion during the phase where you're calling out icons from the Mind's Eye, I'm just gonna call this Mind's Eye phase, you will get teleported yourself into the mind's eye and a person inside of the mind's eye will get teleported to the throne room. This means you're going to have people rotating in and out of each section non-stop during the fight. Also, it seemed like if two people hit a scion at the same time, they would both get teleported and for the most part, that's bad. That is the only change and it doesn't sound too bad, but combined with what feels like more ad spawning, even though it's probably not that, it's more likely that you're just killing things slower, it can get pretty brutal. As for the strategy, it's basically the same, it's just way more chaotic, you need to be much more organized, and much more cautious. Arc Strider Hunters, again, are insane for clearing ads if you have Raid and Flux, and I highly, highly recommend it, along with Hunters with Orpheus Rig running Night Stalker. You're probably going to need the ad killing and crowd control much more than you're going to need a golden gun shot on his face. If you do get teleported, it will teleport you to the beginning of the mind's eye area and you will slide all the way down depending on how far you are. During this time, ramps are a little more forgiving. You still don't want to hit them, but it kind of felt like the gravity was turned up just a tad so that if you do have bad luck with your teleport, it didn't completely mess you up. That being said, you should continue to not hit ramps at all. I'll be uploading all of our prestige first kills very soon if you want to see full playthroughs of the encounters. My team placed 14th in the world first chase. Those are your prestige raid updates. I'll show you guys my loot here. You also get an emblem for completing the prestige. Unfortunately, it does not tell you how many times you've cleared the prestige or the normal mode raid, and also it's not even a legendary, not that that matters too much, but still, it's not even a legendary, what, like what? I'm gonna have my thoughts on the prestige raid with special guest Slayer Age of the Legend Himself clan as soon as possible. Also, the final part of Legend of Acrius can be completed, it gives you an ornament, but much like the prestige raid, it does not provide a power increase. Thank you all very much for watching, I'll see you next time. All of them? Uh, no, nope. No. Alright. Hey, I'm sorry. That's the way we can go. Just stand here and grab.
or maybe it was one of those weird. Alright, got my token. 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 That's the last one. I'm coming. I'm coming. Help Clover. We should be good. Nice yeah. job. Alright, someone open the thing. Just guess, yeah, you can just stand there now if you want. We're not the getting Mark of the Emperor's side. Champion. I got, got nothing. I got too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Half uh, Terracotta. Right? That'll propose 3-3. Three, three. Or do you want to just 4-2 and go for it? Kind of pulse name. Alright, hey, Shad, glory I'm back. To glory to the Emperor. Emperor. Yeah, Imperial the Aura. The hey, uh, you, you guys want to guess what I got? Nothing. Oh, dude, these really glow. You, you want to guess what it. piece of armor I got? Mark. Class Mark. A Mark! Cool! Hey, I got that okay. too. Dude, Imperial Aura. Yeah, world's it? first. It's even, it's, oh. Okay, uh, it's a rare emblem. And it yeah. doesn't track. <laughs> track, yeah.